A woman knows what a woman wants, so she better in. Are you saying she better in bed than a man? I didn't say that. You didn't say it. What you say? I'm saying you said it. a woman know what a woman wants. She runs from a man. She runs from a man. Man abuser, whatever. Man and, abuser. And she wants a woman that can give up what a woman can give up, but not what a man can give up. But not what a man can give up. Give me James chapter one verse twelve. I need you to stay oh with me. God. Listen to this. What's your name, sister? My name is. They call me Speedy. They call you Speedy. Okay, Speedy. Okay, watch this. James 1 and 12. Come on. James chapter 1 verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Meaning, you and me, we got temptations on us, whatever it is. It might be methadone. Okay. It might be crack. You might want to lust after another woman. Okay. It says what? Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. You got to endure that temptation. Just like an alcoholic. He wants that drink, but he got to endure that temptation. And say, I'm not going to touch that alcohol. Because if I touch it, what's going to happen? What if he does drink the alcohol? What could happen? Yes. He could fall into that. He got to go right back to the, uh, what they call the clinic again, right? Yes. Same with the crackhead, right? Yes. That's a detox. That's where I just came from. Okay, okay. So now, next thing from alcohol. So now you know to stay away from the alcohol. Yes. It said, read that again. Less is the man that endured temptation. You got to endure that temptation. So likewise with the crackhead, they got to endure that. They feel that lust, they want that crack. They got to endure that. The lesbian the same way. She got that lust, she want to deal with another woman. The homosexual got that lust. He want to deal with another man. But when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. When you are tried and overcome, you shall receive a crown of life. Which the Lord had promised to them that loved him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. So you can't say when you're tempted, God's tempted me. This is the Lord. Maybe lust after alcohol. It's not the Lord. Likewise, a lesbian can't say, God put this in me to lust after women. A homosexual can't say, God made me this way to make me lust after a man. For God cannot be tempted with evil. See that? Neither tempted he any man. God tempts no man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his own lust. When he is drawn away of. Read it correctly. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. See that? That's your own lust. The alcohol, it's your own lust. The homosexuality may be your own lust. The lesbianism may be your own lust. It's not God that's doing it. It's what's in you. That's your mind. Come on. Then, when lust hath conceived, you keep giving into that lust, giving into that lust, it brings forth sin. It brings forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, when it's finished, you keep doing it over and over and over, bringeth forth death. It brings forth death. So if you keep giving into the alcohol, it's going to bring forth death. You keep giving into the crack, it's going to bring forth death. The lesbianism, it's going to bring forth death. The homosexuality, it's going to bring forth death. Death. That's right. That's what God says. Are you saying anybody that do all those things going to hell? This is already hell. This is America is hell for the black man and black woman. Latin man and Latin woman. We wouldn't be here. You are here for what? Breaking God's laws. You're still a woman. Yeah, You're still a woman. Come on. Some women ain't comfortable with their body. They, what do you mean? They cover it up sometimes. So, give me Second Timothy uh, 2 11 about Moxie. Timothy chapter 2. Verse 9. So, in like manner also, also that Bible. women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is modest apparel? That yeah. women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is modest apparel for women? Not being a self. Huh? Not being a self. Not being a uh, Robin, Robin, help us. What does it mean it says a woman what? Adorn themselves modest. in modest apparel. Okay, is that modest right there, Robin? Is that modest? Mini skirt right there. Is that modest? No, it's not modest, okay? That's like Jehovah's Witnesses. She said it's like Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, the Bible says women are to cover their bodies. That's right. Oh, women are that to thing cover. Thing over their head with that thing over their head? Oh, Wait, for Speedy. Speedy, I'm going to tell you something about yourself just for a second. Bear with me. You've been indoctrinated in the American ideas. Okay. Okay, meaning this. All your thoughts of what you've learned from when you was little, whether it's Sesame Street or whatever, it push things contrary to this Bible. Now, now, do you want to be saved in that day? You guess. What about you, Robert? What do you got to do to be saved, Robert? Follow the laws and commandments. Follow the laws and the commandments. Give me Matthew 19. I don't want to lie to the Lord. You don't want to what? I don't want to lie to the Lord. You don't have to. Don't lie. Just tell him I'm going to do something, then I might. Just be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Do you enjoy the life you lead? 
you enjoy that life. Where you just I come from? Look at your arm. Look at your arm, Speedy. Oh, no, I don't enjoy it. You don't enjoy it. No. I can look at you and tell you don't enjoy it. That's not a good life. No. Christ said this, Matthew 19, 16. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, once came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? A lot of blacks and Latinos don't understand eternal life. What is eternal life? Forever. Forever. Oh, eternal life. You know what it is to live? You said you enjoy your life. I don't enjoy my life. You know why? This is no life here. You got 12, 15, 13 year old girls having babies who don't know how to raise them. That's not in life. So read that part again. Matthew 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Eternal life is when you have your own country. You make your own laws. You're able to walk outside and say, you know what? I want a highway to go this way. I want another one to go that way. You can open up stores when and where you want. That's life. Okay? When you rule the nations, that's life. He said he'll be blessed for eternity. That's right. Talk about on the earth speedy, not up in the sky. No. Okay, you're just saying. So now, watch this speed. Wait, wait, wait. I want you to hold that. Give me uh, the Lord's Prayer. Hold that. Drop everything else. Give me the Lord's Prayer real quick. I'm going to show you something about the Lord's Prayer. You know the Lord's Prayer? Call and read it. Matthew 6 and 9. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In earth, where? In earth, where? In earth, where? In earth. So why are you blacks and Latinos waiting until you drop dead? Talk about I'm going to go up into the sky. That's not what Christ said. Christ said, thy will be done in earth, in earth, in earth. He's coming back. He's coming back to set a kingdom up in earth. But some of y'all don't want that. I know you Christians. One side of you say, well, I want Jesus to come back. Do you think when Christ come back, he's going to share rulership with Barack Obama? Is Christ going to share with Barack Obama? This young girl said yes, that when Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, returns, he's going to share with Barack Obama. Is that in the Bible? Any Christians out there that claim to know the Bible? I'm going to tell you something, sister. If Christ comes back today, he's going to destroy every kingdom set up. Because every kingdom is against his word. Every kingdom has had our people as slaves. We're slaves right now. You probably don't even realize that. We've been so indoctrinated. A lot of you think you're free because you ain't got yokes to iron no more. Take the bus, pay your money. What happens if the slave don't pay the money on the bus? It's called theft of service. You're going to jail. That's right. That's right. And you're going to talk about you ain't in slavery? That's right. That's how it used to be less than 50 years ago. People say, oh, slavery was a long time. Negro, segregation was 50 years ago. So shut your mouth. You know what you're talking about. We be free now. You ain't free, Negro. But I got a question. Yes, Speedy, what's your question? God said come, come, come as you are. Give me that scripture, Speedy. Find me that scripture. Speedy said the scripture says, Come as you are. I want that scripture right now. Ask one of those Christians back there. Ask them to help you get that scripture. Come as you are scripture. I'm waiting for that scripture. You know what that scripture is? Anybody ever heard that read that scripture? Azariah, you read that scripture, come as you are. Oh, the lion preacher done said that. You know what a lion preacher say, come as you are? So they can get you come the way you are and give them that money. Pass the basket. Pass the basket. But there's one thing about Jesus Christ he told you. Give me Matthew 18. Matthew 18, verse 3, I believe it is. He never said, come as you are. This is what he did say, though. He accepts you. Now, watch this, speed. Matthew chapter 18, verse 3. And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Robert, what that mean? Except you be converted and become as little children, you shall not into the kingdom of heaven. What does that mean? Humble yourself. Humble yourself. What converts us, Robert? What converts us? Convert, give me another word for convert. Changes. Right. Changes. What change? If I'm a homosexual, what changes me? If she's an alcoholic, what changes her? That's what changes her? Christ said you must be converted. You must change. Psalms 19. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. We here for y'all. We here for y'all. We're going to show you what the Psalms 19 and 7. Listen good. 
Psalms chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Read it again. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Speedy, listen. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. What converts the soul? What converts the soul? Read it again. The law. What converts the soul? The law. What converts the soul, Robert? The law. The law. What converts the soul? The law. L-A-W. Law. Thou shalt not commit adultery is a law. If I go around sexing my neighbor's wife, am I converted? No, I'm still wicked as hell. Thou shalt not steal. If I steal from you and you, have I been converted? No, I'm still wicked as hell. So they're coming to our BS. Well, I gotta change. You want me to wear a dress? You, you God wants you to wear a dress, Eve. I can't wear a dress. You can wear a dress. I wear slacks. No, you have to wear a dress, Eve. Yes. What does that mean, become as little children? He's saying the same thing, but using different words. Growing up to be Right, when you, if you become as a little child, meaning you're starting all over again. Yeah. You're admitting to the Lord, I don't know nothing, Lord. Teach me all over again. Like when you have a little baby. Your baby don't know nothing. You gotta teach him the ABCs. How to walk, right from wrong. You gotta do it. Guess what? God's trying to teach us. He says we gotta be like little children in this world. Forget everything you've been taught that uh, come into our city. Garbage! Forget that. That's not in the Bible. You gotta forget that. You gotta convert to what God is saying. Change your life to what he's saying. Then and only then, read on. Verse 3. Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. If you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must be converted. Because the kingdom of heaven comes when Christ destroys America. That's right. And if you're not converted by that time, you shall be put to death. He don't care how old you are, how young you are, how pretty you look. He don't care. Understand that, Speedy. But then what if a man comes to me and that's not what I want? I want to be alone. Okay, her question is, what if a man comes to her and she wants to be alone? That's all fine, but I'm going to give you the law, Speedy. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry. What? Read it again loud. I will therefore that the younger women marry. Come on. Bear children. What? Bear children. Come on. Guard the house. Guide the house. You hear what Speedy? You hear what God says? Yeah. God's law for women is that your young woman marry. But now the question married. is, Speedy, you know why you don't want to get married? Because you're depressed. You've probably been through a lot in your life. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Just be patient. Don't rush on marriage. One day at a time. One day at a time. Get your life right with the most high. Then, when that time is right, you're going to know the time is right. I'm going to get married. That right That's here. right. Everything you want, Speedy, is right here. But you can only get the understanding from the Israelites. That's right. If you go to some Baptist church, they're going to teach you this, and you're going to be that nigga once again. They're going to say, stay the way you are, Speedy. You're fine. You're going to stay like that. That's why I have no religion. That's right. So now, none of us did. Now, in our repenting, we got to change our life and say, you know what? I'm going to do what this Bible says. Because I see the destruction coming. And I want to get my life right. So I'm going to fix up everything that's right in my life. That's wrong in my life. I'm going to fix it. You're welcome, Speedy. Did you get a flyer, Speedy? Yeah, I got a flyer. Okay, good, good, good. Who coming up? Okay, just... I might just come up. Oh, we done.